Dubai has a strategic goal of becoming the first blockchain-powered government by 2020. So at today's event, we will explore this breakthrough technology that aims to drive the future economy of the uh, UAE. The biggest competitor that most banks have, 45% say, are tech companies. The next one is startups, a lot of what you're doing here. And the next are telcos. So therefore, uh, when you talk to a bank today and say, who is your competitor? It's not another bank. And that's the shift. That's the new space that we are moving into. Dubai Islamic Bank is over 40 years. Mashrik Bank is over 50 years. And these trusted storehouses of value of this economy, I believe, will continue to function as the store of value, which is their fundamental role. How they transact internally within the bank, how they transact and converse with the community and with the regulator will change dramatically. Most of the international institutions have been paying penalties for fraud for all of those bits and pieces over the last 10 years. They are the ones who nearly broke the entire world financial system down. Do you trust them? Do you trust them? Why do you trust them? when they are basically screwing us all the time. Uh, Bitcoin has its own issues around security, payment security. Visa and MasterCard spend a lot of resources on making the integrity of a transaction. So here, let's say Tariq buys $100,000 of goods and just walks out with a three-second transaction on a piece of plastic. That, in my view, is trust. The Fair. fact that you can do it yeah. is trust. <laughs> no, I just completely disagree. When we say trust, basically, so this is the illusion of trust that we have today. Blockchain is actually more trustworthy than any other bank that existing today or will exist tomorrow. And he was telling me, okay, how Arabian Chain could help in our bank to survive. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> We are not going to do that, basically, because blockchain is here to eliminate you. It's not to help you. It's, it's scary, but it is true. And this is what we need to understand, because blockchain is, is not just a technology we'll just purchase or buy or have a license for, it, but it's also a concept, philosophies, vision, understanding. And if you don't apply those, then blockchain doesn't really exist. A middle ground, by the way. <laughs> It's the most not, painful not because, space. Can not, you because, not because it's safe. <laughs> because it's possible to self-disrupt, stay relevant, re-engineer yourself, re-transform yourself, and recognize trends and not put your head in the sand. Okay? And any bank today, DIB, MSMED, any of them, is, is, is extremely well positioned to survive. But they cannot do that by denying change or by looking the other way. So stock markets will exist, capital markets will exist, the human touch will exist. That advisor who tells you when to move the money. Today, how many of you would transact 90% of your income over blockchain? So let's say your income is 25,000. So that's one person who runs a blockchain company. In our company, we have 15 employees right now and we don't use banks, basically. Because you were saying that there is no actual examples. And we've been operating for about six months now. All our payments is through blockchain basically encrypts. If you're saying there is no actual applications, I will tell you no, there are actual applications. If they're not big enough, then we need to bank them big enough. That's the idea here. We have 52 banks right here in the UAE and you can't get one CEO to say I trust that CEO. They are scared to death. They're being told Absolutely. in 10 years yeah. what they do now will no longer be a job description. I'll need uh, security to get out of yeah, here, yeah. I think. <laughs> um, last I, last I, final I, comment, is it a hype? Is no. it just a big... It's not hype. So a lot of what you read in the media is largely hype. A lot of what is being spoken about cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, I believe, is further ahead than where reality is. And is it a hype? No, it's not. And the reality about it is that if you don't have a working use case yet, then you are not looking in the right places. Thank you very, very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for staying. Thank you, sir. You've been very informative. Thank you. Thank you.